Hi everyone! Welcome to episode 41 of Only Your Needs. Hi friends! Welcome back or welcome to Anne Jute Knits podcast. My name is Annina. I'm a knitter and a knitwear designer based in Finland. And this is my little podcast here on YouTube where I share everything, everything that I make, uh, everything that I get excited about and everything that I design. So let's get started. Um, in today's episode, I only have one finished object and that is a pair of socks that I forgot to show you last time. And then I have a surprise cast on and a few other things that I want to share today. Let's get started. Um, maybe we start with the finished object. Um, before I... Before I go any further, you can find me on Instagram as Anne Jouti Knits and on Ravelry as Anne Jouti if you are interested interested in looking looking me up there. Uh, yes, so my first finished object is something that I was planning on making for Christmas uh, as a Christmas present for my father-in-law, but I didn't finish them and because we were our whole family was sick the whole whole holiday season we didn't go anywhere so I, we haven't still seen my father-in-law he lives in another city so we haven't still visited him and therefore it's it doesn't really matter um uh, when I finish these but I think I finished these on the 7th of January and here they are. They are the the Selena socks by Nicole from the podcast Professor Pearl. And I wanted to I wanted to knit this uh, pattern when it first got out, but because I have always one million other things to to uh, make, I didn't get get into it and. When I was thinking about a gift pair of socks for my father-in-law, I remembered this and I was like, yes, I have I have a ball of yarn that would work really well. And this is just a very workhorse sock yarn. It's made by Novita, but it's the supermarket brand. Um, I think it's my home living yarn. So it's a 75-25 um, sock yarn worsted weight 200 meters per 100 grams and it was 150 grams gain it took me 115 grams to make these the texture is very fun it looks beautiful uh, it's just knits and pearls and the modification that I made for this, it had the slip stitch heel flap and the Dutch uh, heel but I did continue the slip stitch pattern also under the heel for more strength and yeah I can highly recommend this pattern Nicole is a sweetheart and this is such a beautiful pattern and I I recommend you to check it out it's it's a wonderful it could have been a quick knit but because I always work on 10 different things at once so it wasn't that quick but yeah it's done and when we go and visit visit my husband's father, we will bring these to him and he will he will get to wear these socks. So Selena socks by Nicole Enzinger uh, from the Professor Pearl podcast. And that was my only finished object. I have half <coughs> half finished object and that I will show you next. Uh, last time I did show you this design. It's a new design of mine and I was asking for uh, suggestions for the name and one of my lovely viewers uh, suggested the Lotus Lake and that's what I chose and 
if you did <laughs> if you did so that suggest that name uh please leave me a message or uh your email address on the comments so that i can I can send you the finalized copy when whenever the pattern is ready. It's going to testing uh, tomorrow. So it's this lacy motif. There is this floral motif with some three by one ribbing and three by one heel flap, and then. Uh, stocking at bottom and on the top there is some ribbing and I think they are quite cute if I may say so myself uh, This yarn is probably not something that I would choose myself, but it was part of my advent calendar and <clears throat> I had this uh, romantic sock idea uh, in my head, so I thought that they are a good match uh, the yarn and the pattern so That's how it turned out And it will be, I don't know, it will be released at some point, maybe February. Um, so it's going to testing, it's going to testing uh, tomorrow. I didn't put an open test call this time, or I did uh, post it on Instagram. And I just took a couple of testers for, for the Finnish translation and the English translation, uh, because I only have this one size and I'm actually struggling <laughs> with this a bit because I usually include multiple sizes because um, I think that's very important um, to offer some some different sizes but because this is a 16, um, 16 stitch repeat uh, I didn't want to... it doesn't look the same if I would offer like a 48 stitch repeat uh, or 40, 48 stitch sock because then it would only have three motifs not four and it will throw off the balance so I thought I will price this pattern lower than my normal patterns because I can only offer one size um, of course changing the needles and changing the yarn um, you can uh, adjust the size a little bit, but um, yeah, so <laughs> it's kind of a compromise with myself making a pattern. I was first, I was like, maybe I should put it out as a free, but um, it is a lot of work to to make it even even for one size. So I'm not the first one to offer one size patterns. It's just not my style, but um, these ones I am going to I'm going to put out a one size sock pattern but uh, that will be out later on uh, this spring and that was my Lotus Lake socks uh, designed by me I'm a little bit of a like I, I'm in a bit of a rush because my husband took the kids out uh, just so that I can film. I was planning on filming on Wednesday when I had my day off, but the day just flew by and I couldn't, I didn't have the chance to film. So I have an hour and it took me a little bit uh, to set everything up. So sorry if I am, <laughs> if, I, if it feels like I am rushing because I'm in a bit of a time crunch. So today is uh, Saturday the 19th, no, 21st? I have no idea. <laughs> Maybe it's 21st. Yes, let's say 21st uh, of January 2023. And I also forgot to mention what I'm wearing. Um, I'm wearing my uh, own design Fayou pullover. This is a uh, design that has two sleeve lengths and this is probably my most worn or one of the most worn sweaters from last year it's a fingering weight sweater and I just I just wear it all the time uh, it has this straight sleeves with like a cable cabled cuff so it's uh, you decrease before the ribbing and then there is this cabled ribbing 
and yeah it is it is um my first uh adult sweater pattern and if there's something that i would change i think i would add a bit more short rows because it kind of rides up um on the front in the front of my neck and <laughs> it kind of rides up in the front of the the collar and it is because there is just not enough short rows so if i would make this or create this pattern again i would definitely add more short rows for a better fitting neckline but otherwise it is it is a very good sweater if i say <laughs> may say so myself but yeah um it is made from a merino tweed yarn and it's very lovely lovely to wear i just love love to wear a fingering weight sweater Next thing that I would like to show you is the shawl that I showed you last time. So uh, my friend Marika from uh, her Instagram handle is Marili Design. She is, she has designed her first, oh dear, I have dropped stitches. One moment. Oh, there. So um, this is her first shawl design she has made. And I promised to test this for her. Uh, she was planning originally to release it on, uh, on the 15th of January. But there was, uh, she has some yarn kits coming up with the Finnish dyer duo and that's why she is postponing it a little bit. I was visiting her last week or last weekend and I did manage to make a quite a bit of progress. Last time that I showed you I was... I don't remember. I think I was somewhere on this section. Maybe I had just started the lace, the second one. It's quite big already. I am only missing now the border and it is it's a very like wide crescent shaped shawl I will put a picture here how you I will put a picture here of the original sample so you can see so I am only missing the the border and I did work on this quite a bit last weekend and I managed to made a lot of lot of progress it's already very long and the rows have a lot of stitches <laughs> so there is now going to be these little triangles and then i will make the border with this um lighter color which is the camijonit uh, cinnamon spice colorway It's very beautiful with some like yellows and greens and uh, pinks and I think it works really well with my palette so that's that's what I'm going to be working on next is the the border it has been quite a lot of knitting but shawls usually are and I'm very impressed how well she has written this this pattern she it's her first pattern but you could never tell it's like just all the constructions and there's like short rows and 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 everything it's just so well thought and i love it uh even though the colors are not not uh something that i would normally use it's actually been quite fun to to work on uh in a bit of a different palette for once so yeah it's fun Fun, fun. So that is my Golly shawl. I actually probably didn't even mention that. So Golly <laughs> shawl by Marika Liimatta. And I'm hoping that, well, I think it, it will be ready the next time we talk so that I can show you the finished and finalized product. And that was that. My next work in progress is a sweater this is the accidental cast on so like uh, a lot of you know 
um, the Rebecca from the Crea Bear podcast and Amy Palco from the Meaningful Stitch are hosting uh, Let's Lento Cal, and that is a, a knit along for the Lento sweater. Uh, Lento sweater is a Finnish designer Jonna Hietala uh, design. She has published this pattern in Line magazine. I think it was Line 11, probably. Uh, I have bought the individual pattern because, um, yeah, I never, I never got into the Lento hype when when it was going strong. But now when uh, this knit along happened, and also. Casey from the Young Folk Knits podcast uh, was hosting or is hosting the Bougie Sweatshirt Cal. Um, that's exactly my thought behind this sweater. I wanted an oversized um, sweatshirt type of uh, woolly sweater. And I have one oversized sweater. I have the green suolaulu, which I have not made myself, but I bought it off from a friend and it's amazing. It's like 30 centimeters of positive ease and I love it. So it brings me to this subject <clears throat> uh, of my lento. I did uh, want to make my lento out of stash yarn. And I also wanted to, because I really loved my scrappy sweater that I made for my brother. Uh, I showed it in my last episode. And I really wanted something similar for myself. And I had these uh, leftovers from uh, Finship wool yarns. I have bought from Karma yarns this Rauni single ply. And then my aunt's, um, my aunt used to have a, um, my aunt used to have a sheep farm and they were um, they were uh, what's the word spinning their own not spinning their own but they uh, transported their wool to be spent uh, into yarn so it's the same base one ply or single ply finship wool and I had dyed up some some of those yarns myself so I had some leftovers from my painting, painting bricks shawl and then um, something that I had dyed with my aunt and here it is. It was a complete accident and it, it has grown so much that it's nearly done. I decided to make the size 5 so it is very like oversized for me but I really wanted to have a very comfy and cozy and woolly. It has this beautiful halo. I don't know how much you can see, but I'm using those Finship wool yarns and then I had two skeins of, I think it's fingering weight. It was like 366 meters. Um, this, uh, it was an alpaca, it was a Katia concept alpaca yarn. Uh, my mom had bought it for me and I had two skeins, so 700 and something meters. Uh, so I held double the single ply, single ply finship wool and then uh, the alpaca yarn. I just have like a tiny end here, you can probably see or not. Anyway, so I wanted to do, do like a fade. But because this is a scrappy sweater, I only had a certain amount uh, of yarn. I didn't want to waste my yarn for like um, alternating rows and doing like a proper fade. So I thought I just uh, arranged my yarn into like a, a fade type of a color arrangement. And I didn't know how far I could get with my... Um, with the alpaca yarn and I did run out uh, just before the cuffs and yeah now I had to take one uh, gray ball also where is it I think I have it here somewhere here so originally I didn't plan on taking this 
uh, into this sweater at all. I was hoping to finish it with with the leftovers that I had from from these other things. This is the only yarn that is not a single ply finship wool. This is uh, Aurenko Kehra fingering, so it is Finnish wool, but I don't remember which breed, and it is a two ply. But um, yeah, so the fade goes from from a very yellowy brown to orange to uh, burnt orange to <laughs> here's actually two different ones, and then to a darker brown, which I had dyed myself, and then to this burgundy color, and then I had to replace the alpaca yarn with the gray finship wool, because I ran out. But um, I'm making size five, and I thought that it's more important to have an oversized fit than to make the yarns um, last, so to say. So I could have, if I made the size four, I probably would have had enough without the cray, but I don't think it looks bad. It's kind of, yeah, it goes from yellow to like bluish, and now the sun is coming here. Ooh, dear. Let's, <laughs> let's try to be quick. I think it's going to disturb us anyway. I do like the colors. I love the fit. It's nice and oversized. My bust is 112 centimeters. So what was the, I think it was like 128 maybe. So there is enough, <laughs> there is enough um, positive ease. And the only modification that I made uh, besides adding length, because in this pattern there is like not a lot of length in the sleeves or in the body. So what I did, um, I did decrease a couple more. I think I did two extra rounds of decreases so that it won't be like too wide. And I made the cuff nice and long so that if I want to uh, pull them back, use them as like a rolled cuff, I can do that. So this is a, a nice 11 centimeters. Uh, of cuff. I did finish it off with a sewn bind off. I don't know how much you can see, but anyway, I think uh, I probably will finish this this weekend. It is now Saturday and it's uh, it's quite possible that I, it's a mindless knit. I can knit it while the kids are playing and all that. So I have made the second sleeve um uh, well you can see how much i have so i'm 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 shifting the stitch markers uh over to the next sleeve while while they happen so that i know how many decreases i'm making so i have this much so here until the end i don't have a lot of the sleeve and i think i have like maybe three centimeters and then I can do the ribbing for the hem. So this is all the yarn that I have left. I lost it again. Just, well, it doesn't matter here. So this is everything that I have left from, from the body. I did uh, calculate the stitch counts and how much I need for the sleeves and for the body. So I had, divided these little nuggets before and I had at one point I had um, six yarns hanging from different places and it was kind of slowing me down but I did finish the sleeve this morning and I am now finishing up the body before I will finish the second sleeve but yeah Lento, let's Lento Cal, cal and uh, Bougie Sweatshirt Cal I'm part of participating in both of them and also, uh, I have my whip, whips and stash bingo that I made for myself. This will be my scrubby project um, square for my bingo because I pulled everything from my own stash and 
uh, besides the alpaca yarn, they are all leftovers from other projects. But yeah, this is my lento. So the next thing that I want to talk about is a test knit. Uh, my friend Camilla from the Camijo Knit podcast and Camijo Yarn, she, we have this little chat group who, uh, with a few of our podcaster friends and she asked if someone would be interested in testing out her um, melancholy hat. And then she also offered uh, us her yarn, which was fantastic. I would have done the test knit without this um, yarn support, but you know, hey, who can say no to, to some beautiful yarn? Um, the Finnish postal services didn't quite deliver this time. Uh, the yarn was going from Denmark to USA quicker than it came to Finland. So I had to wait a little bit for my, for my yarn to arrive, but it did arrive this week and I got to start my hat. I'm probably going to finish it today. This is the Happy Hunter colorway. So the melancholy hat holds two strands of fingering and one strand of mohair. I have the Happy Hunter in the fingering sock base and then I have uh, the undyed mohair. So it creates this beautiful fuzzy fuzzy uh, fabric which looks amazing and it feels very very warm uh, this is a very simple project it's it's fun and quick i did manage to make a very good progress last night and i'm very close to making the decreases already so maybe two three more centimeters and i can decrease and have a finished hat so so this is uh, this yarn has been gifted for this test knit. So let's be transparent about that. And I am loving loving this fabric that it creates, and I can't wait to have this hat for myself. I chose this green um, green colorway because I love everything green, and I didn't have a light hat, so I wanted to make a hat for myself and. I chose this one. This melancholy hat will be probably out quite soon. Um, it's worked on 4 and 4.5 millimeter needles, so it's a very quick project. And yeah, there's not much, much to say. I will be finishing this uh, probably today and I will show you this next time when I film. I only have one more a uh, whip that I want to show you, or probably two, but I also do have some plans and I'm, I'm, uh, I'm going to talk you through those plans as well. But I did start a headband for myself because I needed one and the ones that I have don't work the way that I want. I got this uh, Westful bicycle. yarn uh, as a Christmas present from a friend and I did start I actually have I've been thinking of making um, a headband with the same lace lace pattern that I have my caramel fox socks uh, unfortunately this is such a dark colorway or color that you can't really tell that there's cables and lace but Maybe you can see. But I know that they are there. <laughs> I wanted something more than just a plain, plain headband. Uh, I did a provisional cast on so that I can uh, kitchener or craft the ends together. And I'm just going to make this just like a very plain straight headband. I'm not going to make this into a pattern. I just wanted to make something for myself and I used used a um, 
chart that I already had. I did have to make it a little bit smaller so that it could fit this larger gauge, but this wool feels very warm and not prickly at all. So I'm looking forward to finishing this. It has been on the handbag, uh, on my handbag, as my uh, handbag needs. So I've been working it on, on my lunch breaks and, and meetings and all that. So, yeah. I assume this will, will also be finished next time we speak because I have a lot of these smaller projects that are quite close being, being done. All right, um, that was all the finished, unfinished, <laughs> that was everything that I have been working on. But I thought that I would mention a little bit what I am planning on uh, working in the next couple of weeks, because, um, because why not? <laughs> I purchased the West Knits uh, Year of Socks 2023 ebook and if you don't know it's an ebook that um, gives you one pattern per month and there was this painting bricks socks pattern was i i purchased mine already before the year ended so i got one in december and one in january and i am planning on making all those socks or not if not all of them maybe most of them and the two uh, two patterns that have already dropped. Uh, I have the yarn here because I was planning on starting already, but I have so many things to work on, so <laughs> there's not enough time. Um, I did have a little uh, poll on Instagram what color should I use for the painting bricks. So my main color, I really love the, the orange one that the, the original sample is in and I had the October box from Cami Jo Knit and this is this is the orange that came from there it's a very bright orange and I love it and I was planning on um, using some of my calendar minis and the brown mini is from from uh, from the box from the October box so here are the yarns that I'm planning on using. So there are some leftovers from... Those stripes really don't take a lot of yarn. Uh, these three, these two are from my advent calendar and this brown is from the October box. So I think these will be a fun, fun version of the Painting Bricks socks. And as soon as I get some socks out of the way I will start these socks and also I have the yarn for the cable trellis socks which is which was the January um, January pattern and it uses I think it uses Zabu ball I believe and I have this sock yarn that I have used for for one of my designs and I have wound these uh, if I just take this blue out, they will start from the same spot. And I was planning on holding it with this uh, drops Nord, drops Nord. And this would be the color palette for my cabled trellis socks. It has five different sizes. So I just need to work out for who I want to knit them for and then decide on on the stitch count and the pattern size uh, according to that because I could there was like a 48 stitch uh, sock and I could either make that for my niece she is um, she is eight years old no seven I don't know did she turn seven I think she turned seven Anyway, she's <laughs> on the second grade, and um, I'm losing it. Uh, so yeah, I could make a children's size because 48 stitches with my gauge, it's a children's size, or I could do the 60, 
stitch uh, for for my own size or I could do it for someone else but uh, I need to decide on that but I was thinking these could be a fun color combo I have two balls of this crop snort drop snort and and then this I don't even remember it was a German yarn I think but it's a sock yarn I know that it's 75 25 even though it's it's very loosely plied um it works with sort of like color work type of sock and I think it goes well goes well with that alpaca alpaca sock yarn Yes, so those are my plans and also I am very uh, tempted to continue with my Swike sweater. Um, I did watch a few days ago the, the Knit is Too, Leanne. Uh, she has a wonderful podcast uh, here on YouTube as well. I highly recommend checking her out. And she was wearing her Swike sweater and she was very excited about the whole process of it and the fit and everything. So I have this Swike here that I have barely started. But I would love, love to work on it. And I'm actually going on a little, um, it's not training. It's sort of a lecture type of day uh, in a couple of weeks, in two weeks. And I have to go to Helsinki for that. And it's a whole day um, training or whatever. And I know that there is time to knit on that lecture. <laughs> so maybe I could um, make myself finish up the yoke and start the body so the body would be a perfect perfect mindless meeting or not meeting but a training knit so that's what i'm planning on planning on doing we'll see what it we'll see what happens but that's that's something that i would love to um do this is actually the leftovers from this sweater so the yoke the contrasting color i had four sweat four four sweaters i had four skeins of this yarn and i had like an 80 gram left over so i will use it for this uh yoke for my swag and the main color is ruskan lehti um tweed in colorway konjakki which is a cognac and it's an absolutely stunning brown and i would love to have this sweater to wear so i just should get going with it it's been here like this for at least six months so i think i should crack on with it and those were all the projects that i had um i mentioned last time already that i am planning uh being on a sort of a yarn ban yarn buying ban for uh six months or until the uvascular knit festival and my friends uh, <laughs> make sure that I'm not going to be yarnless <laughs> even if I'm not purchasing yarn myself because I had a very special delivery and now I will tell you all about it. So my friend Mega from the Skeins of Dreams podcast, uh, a few weeks ago she was like, can I have your phone number? And I was like, okay, what do you need it for? And she was like, yeah, 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 you will know soon enough. And then I found out that she had purchased uh, some yarn for me and sent it over from the US. And I was like, oh my God, that's amazing. And she was being sneaky and she had asked my address from a friend so she was trying to surprise me but the Finnish customs is not uh, something to play with you don't get to surprise anyone with that because uh, I got informed that I have a package from Pearl Soho coming up and I need to declare what's in it and how many skeins and or how 
how many items and what's inside. So I had to ask how much it cost and, you know, all that. So I knew the brand, I knew the number of skeins, and <laughs> I knew the value. And I was like, she did not. She, like, she, I just don't understand. Why would someone be so kind and she's just amazing and i'm forever thankful for you mega thank you thank you thank you so okay so i knew that it was from pearl soho and there has been this um uh, <laughs> very popular yarn from pearl soho the linen quill and i was like maybe she did send me some linen quill and when i opened the package i was like blown away because yes it was linen quill it was in, th in three different colors um there was three skeins of i forgot all about it already chestnut red so this color a stunning brownie red it's such a a complex color where there's like there's like this brown and, and red and, and then there's this linen, this light, I don't know, amazing. Very much me color. And then there was uh, three skeins of the honey, what's, what's that called? Honey pink. So a beautiful neutral. Goes really well with this. And then there was four skeins of the turmeric yellow <laughs> is there a more me color than the turmeric yellow this is just i like okay so mega loves the half and half wrap so there is like there's enough for a half and half i'm not gonna make one sorry <laughs> uh, but she did order me a sweater quantity of this um turmeric yellow and it's gorgeous and i'm definitely going to make a sweater out of this so thank you mega you are the sweetest uh you didn't have to and i'm so 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 grateful and i love these yarns i just love these yarns so yeah yarn by ban <laughs> going strong i had a kilo of yarn sent out of out from the US to me and Camilla sent me some yarn for the test knit and you know the yarn just keeps coming I can't help it even though I'm not buying it for myself but yeah those were all the things that I had to share today um, maybe a little live chat at the end of this if you are leaving me here thank you so much for watching and please Give me a thumbs up and sub subscribe to my channel if you like this video. It will help me uh, grow my community and, and I really, really appreciate you doing that. So if you could give me a thumbs up, it will help me to spread uh, or it will, help, uh, to my, it will help my video to get more views. But yeah, um, life. Uh, we've been quite sick still uh or not we i have and i have a little surgery coming up again uh i have my i will have my tonsils removed because of all these uh infections that i all the time have um i had to have my ear punctured last week because i lost my hearing because of the cold that I had so last time that I was filming I was already sick and I was losing losing my hearing um, after that so <clears throat> I'm still not a hundred percent but um, the, the surgery will hopefully fix that and I will I will have my health <laughs> back or <laughs> at least I, I hope it's going to improve so so there's there's that, but otherwise, uh, it's been very very good. Uh, my three year old started. Uh, she he he uh, changed groups in his kindergarten, and he went to this three to five year old group instead of a one to three, and he has grown 
a lot since he started uh, three weeks ago. He is now talking better, he's not screaming all the time, he's not having all these tantrums like 24-7, so it's been, it's been much nicer to to spend some time in the evenings with them and to, to play and, and all that. So I finally feel like it's getting easier after five years of little kids and we finally have two, two bigger, bigger kids. And my older son is turning five next week and I also have a birthday coming up. So if you are uh, interested in buying my patterns, I will have this little uh, discount uh, on Wednesday. So 35% off on Wednesday. Just have a look at my Instagram and you will find it because I am also, uh, I also have a birthday and I'm turning to 35. So yeah, uh, there will be this discount coming up and, and yeah, uh, my workplace is having a renovation. So I will have some time off I will have four days off from work and I hope that I can maybe finalize something uh, or work on my patterns and go go somewhere with those because I, I've been so busy with all my um, jobs and this family life so so it, it feels like I didn't have enough time to to focus on on my own work so I hope that will change. Uh, now that I have a few more days off and I can I can focus on on the knitting work that I have. So yeah, I'm looking forward to that. And yeah, uh, I'm loving that we have a more more light. It's we are getting towards or going towards the spring. And even though it's cold, not that cold, but it's it's you know winter winter weather. So it's brighter and now that it is, I think it's two o'clock maybe, um, we still have a, a lot of light and it's, it's easier to <laughs> get through the days when, when it's not pitch black all the time. So, so that's a positive. Uh, I went to my knitting friend, friend's uh, birthday party last weekend. I traveled to Joensuu, which is a very very long train right away. It took me eight and a half hours to get there and to get back. So I had plenty of <laughs> plenty of knitting time. If you are wondering how much I've accomplished in two weeks, that's because I was traveling last weekend and I was basically knitting the whole weekend without any, without any, um, what's the word? Mm responsibilities so I was just knitting knitting away the whole weekend but yeah I think that is everything uh, that I had to sh that I had to share today so thank you so much for watching until the end I really appreciate you spending your time with me and um, I will see you in two weeks time happy knitting bye <laughs>